in this video I want to show how you can make a shunt. And a shunt is a resistor that bridges a sensitive microamperimeter in this case. Here you see a sensitive microamperimeter. Uh, it was originally from an audio circuit. It says Lynx Pegel, that means um, the audio volume at the left channel. But I've bridged this very sensitive meter with a piece of wire. This piece of wire it goes here and it goes back here. And here you see uh, on the meter the two pieces of wire connected. The brown wire here and here again a piece of brown wire. And in fact there are a few things that happen want to draw it. This is the very sensitive microamperimeter. Extremely sensitive. Here's the load. In this case a heavy lamp. Uh, 50 watt or so. 12 volt. In this case because it's a battery charger. You see these lamps that uh, load the, uh, the circuit. This is the circuit, solar charger. Uh, but back to the microamperimeter. When you bridge the microamperimeter with a piece of wire, approximately one meter, um, so good thick copper wire, this type of wire, the main current, the, the, the high current, flows from the charger through the, the thick wire to the load, but a very small current flows through the microamperimeter, and that means that the pointer from the microamperimeter moves to the right side. You see that? This is the power supply that I'm using now. It was made to charge a 24 volt battery 80 ampere hours and at the moment a current is flowing here through the charger and this is my dummy load to batteries oh, sorry to uh, lamps and uh, because a, a tiny part of the current flows through the microamperimeter here you see that the pointer from the meter moves and that's an indication for the current so when I, for instance, make the load heavier by connecting again two uh, high current lamps, you can see that the pointer from the meter moves. And that means that you have a good indication about the current that flows in the circuit in amperes. Of course you have to calibrate this homebrew meter, homebrew ampere meter, but that's very easy when you connect here in the circuit, in the circuit here, a calibrated ampere meter. And this is a calibrated meter, ampere meter, and then you can compare the Ampere rating from your homebrew meter to the calibrated meter and write all the values here on the scale. I'm going to cut this, um, this panel off, this plastic panel off, and I glue a piece of paper at the back side here and then I'm going to calibrate it and compare the values to the um, to the calibrated meter and then I've made a homebrew amperimeter. And I've done that many times and it's very